of moon planing, it's chasing the moon around an airport for that perfect shot. And with all eyes turning skyward from meteors and the eclipse just a little over a week away, ABC 15's Jason Valentine met with these guys to try to find out how they capture picture perfection. On the green screen, it's easy to get the moon to do whatever you want, but in real life, it's much trickier. What you're about to see, I promise no tricks, just a couple of guys, an app, some fancy equipment, and moon magic. Southwest 38, 40, visual approach. Life behind the lens. I worked my way up to freelancing for the New York Times and USA Today, and that's how I met this guy here in Phoenix. Professional sports photographer, I've been doing it for about 12 years now. Mark and Guy have their favorite hobby subjects. It is hard to make money off those pictures, so you really do got to love it to do it. And these guys love chasing planes across the moon. It's kind of like fishing. Just put the camera on a tripod and, and look up and just wait for it to happen. The moon moves, planes move, the photographers have to move. A sky watching app helps line it all up. It's only a ballpark calculation. You may have one plane that'll go off and cross just above the moon and then the next three go below it and then you start doubting yourself. <laughs> Do we need to move? Are we in the wrong place? But Monday night, two miles west of Sky Harbor, they landed in the perfect spot. I'm very pessimistic, so the whole time it's coming up, I'm like, nope, it's going to be too high, it's going to be too low, and he's like, shut up, man. There was some debate over which one of our photos was the best. Mine, mine wins. <laughs> I'll give him that. In my photo, both of the plane's wingtips are cut off, and in Mark's, I think only one is cut off. We're kind of perfectionists with this stuff. They don't just shoot the moon, the sun, even Venus in this picture. But always chasing planes. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15, Arizona.